hopefully make you no, feel better. Thank you. Oh. Mm, I feel better already. Oh, and I have your messages. Oh, I'll look at those later. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you. Uh, oh. You know, there's really nothing much wrong with me. I just got a touch of the flu. And here it is June already. Your anniversary's this month, isn't it? I'm sorry. No, you know, I'm not fragile. I know I have to get used to the idea that Briscoe's probably dead. Well, I I'm going to be back in the office tomorrow, so, um, you know, I'll start getting everything ready. And, uh, oh, um, um, you know, yeah. this luck and booth. Duke told me that you were the one who saw it when I was kidnapped. Is that right? Right, that's right. And a truck driver brought it into the club, and he said it belonged to his Greek grandmother. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got it back. Yeah. Well, I have to go. I can't stay very long. Oh, okay. Um, well, thank you for coming by. Sure. Bye. Yeah. Enjoy your flowers. Yes. Have Olin water them for you. I won't. You can be off tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I'll be there tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Thanks for coming around. One is from California and one is from Texas, but I don't know which is which. Now, one of them is a GP and he specializes in radiology, and the other one is a surgeon and he's involved in artificial organ research. Oh. How long have they been here? Oh, just a couple minutes. They went mm -hmm. straight to Steve's office. Mm -hmm. They've been here a couple minutes? A couple minutes and you know anything about them? I mean, what, what, uh, what, are they married? They got kids? I mean, what kind of sports do they like? Well, I'm sure, Patrick, I'm not going to ask them that kind of stuff. I wouldn't want them to think I was nervous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I'm going to leave you now, and the kids will handle uh, Dr. Quartermain. She'll show you everything that might be of interest to you, and uh, I'll see you later in my office. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, let me have the opportunity to show you some of our newest, our very latest, and I must say, most successful of operations. It's the Tanya Jones Daycare Center. Oh, follow me. Just think, one of those doctors may be our new assistant chief of staff. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Angel? Angel? Where is everybody? Olivia, what are you doing here? Putting you back in business. What do you mean by that? Well, I understand you aren't too thrilled with the decor such as it is, so I've come to change it. told you the club needed to redecorate. All right, I'll fix something for myself. Did you hear the question? Of course I did. Any intention of answering it? Angel told me the painters were coming tomorrow. I told him I could redecorate as fast as they could paint. And their work would be no match for mine. I can't afford to stay closed that long. I won't take any longer than the painters. You don't miss a trait, do you? Never. And because we're friends, I'll give you a rock-bottom prize. I'll have to take your word for that. I'll even forego my commission. Where could you get a better deal than this? Provided I was looking for one. If you aren't, you're a fool, and I know you're not. What I should be looking for is who did this to my clone. Probably kids. If you believe that, you're not your father's daughter. He's right, Olivia. Victor. What the hell are you doing here, Olivia? Redecorating. Look around. Can't you see that it needs it? What are you doing here, Victor? If Robert Scorpio comes in here, you're the only reason he needs to close this place down. Take it easy, dude. Everybody knows you're closed for a couple of days. Why would Robert Scorpio be coming here? Because he happens to be seeing the lady who lives upstairs, and he's been here once today already. He could come back any time now. What the hell are you doing here, Victor? I'm here because we have to talk, Duke. You want me out of here? You come to New York and stay. Let's go to my office and talk. All right. The way that Robert Scorpio is bouncing in and out for you, why don't you do us both a favor and get lost? 
What did he say? calling from Duke's Club. Yes, it is. Did you get your money? Good. Yes, you did a great job. I'll be in touch with you, Mr. Butcher. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Do you realize Aunt Charlene is having dinner with the quarter again tonight? Again? Uh-huh. Uh you know, Monica and Alan are still at the hospital. They are? Mm -hmm. Charlene's with the Quartermains? Do you know that I get the shudders thinking of having dinner with Edward Quartermain? Well, what are Alan and Monica still doing at the hospital so late? Oh, there's a couple of doctors from out of town, and they were late, and Steve and Monica were supposed to give them a tour. Why? More. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. This cookie's good, isn't it? Maybe Steve wants one of them to replace Monica as assistant chief of staff. Oh. I wonder how Alan feels about that. I don't think he's pleased. Hmm. Hmm. Tony, do you hmm. think it's, it's really definite that um, one of those doctors might replace Monica? Give me another bite. Only taxes and death are definite, my dear. Oh, it's very, very mm, funny. Mm. Oh, hey, not in front of the baby, not in front of the baby. Yes. Do you see what your mommy's doing to your daddy? He's very ticklish. Are you ticklish, too? You're just ticklish oh, like him, aren't you? I just hope you learn your ABCs before it. you become a vamp like her mother. <laughs> Jones' residence. Hi, Lucy. It's Felicia. Hi there. Yeah. How's Barbara Jean? Well, she is getting into trouble with her daddy, as usual. She's adorable. Yes, yeah, she is. Thank you very much. May I talk to Tony? Sure. I'll get him. Mm. Oh, Daddy. Please. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh. May I come over? There's something important I want to talk to you about. Mm. Yeah, hold on. Mm -hmm. Um... Felicia's going to come over. Oh, that's okay. I have to go to a meeting. Okay, come on over. Thanks. I'll see you. Mmm, -hmm. that's good. Mm. Um, don't you, you have a meeting? Oh, I do. I do. I'll stick up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take her up to her crib before I take off. Okay. Try not to be late. Oh, no idea. I have something in mind. Always. Thank you very much. Could you help your dad? Yes. Thank you. We're going. We're going. Well, then I will try not to be too late. Okay. Oh, uh, Lucy. Mm-hmm. Did, did you ever get that door fixed that Charlene had such a problem with? You were very, very bad. Come on. Come on, you. Bye. Upstairs. Bye. That whole big build-up, what it really boils down to is that I'm organizing an art festival this summer for the city, and I wondered if you would like to participate. Mom's the city's commissioner of arts. Oh, I know. I know the kids would love to have a chance to show off their work. What do you think, Louise? Well, I really like the idea. Uh, I am going to have to get departmental approval. I do have some influence at City Hall. Well, you let me know what you want to do, will you? Thanks. Uh, did you know that you have something growing on your upper lip just below your nose? I hadn't noticed. You hadn't? What do you think? Um, well, um... Ooh, I get the picture. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Hey! Hey, how you how doing? First time I've been here since I started working at Kelly. Oh, thanks for helping me get the job done. My pleasure. I know she's happy having you. Hey, uh, Val, did you hear who our new softball coach is? Tom? Nope, it's Louisa Squeeze. And I'm your third baseman, right, coach? Greg, please let go of me. I'm really sorry. Uh, I've just had a bad day. 
Will you please excuse me? And yes, you are at the third basement. What did I do? Nothing. You heard her? She's had a tough day. Forget it. Come on, Greg. I'm going to clean your clock at Bumper Bull. Fat chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk to you. Oh, well, have a seat. Thank you. You know, your mother's idea about having us participate in the city's art festival is wonderful. Yes, it is. But I do have to clear it with the head of my department. Well, Mom said she's willing to help. Anything that gets us through that tangle of red tape is certainly appreciated. I think we've got a smooth-running operation here. Uh, Louise, I promised that I would leave my couch at the hospital. But I'm concerned about you. Don't be. I see the way you react to people. Oh, you mean with Greg? Well, I apologize, so that's over and done with. No, it isn't. I'll be the judge of that. This isn't the first time it's happened, Louise, and it won't be the last. It was nothing. You've got to deal with what's causing you to overreact. There is nothing wrong with me, and... I'm really offended that you think there is. I don't mean to offend. I'm just saying there's something in your past that's making things difficult for you. Put the couch away, doctor. Louise, please. I, I, I've seen the way you overreact to things that most people would ignore. You've got to recognize and do something about what's bothering you. If you don't, one of these days you're going to lose control with the wrong people. And it could cost you everything you've worked for. Well, you'd really like that, wouldn't you, doctor? You could just roll around in conceit and arrogance and tell everybody, see, I told you so. I don't have to, and I don't want to prove anything. I just want to help you, if you'll let me. Well, I don't want your help. And I'm really insulted that you think I might need it. I have some work to do. I'll be outside with the kids. I'm just trying to help. Well, but we've got to hit on the right recipe. Yes, it would be so wonderful if we could create a really fabulous confection to go with Piccolila. Why don't you just forget it, Lila? I mean, you had dumb luck with Piccolila. You can't expect lightning to strike twice. Well, let's always keep trying, Edward. Well, I mean, look at all the hard work you piled into Piccolila. What'd you get from it? Peanuts, nickels, and dimes. Well, Lucy certainly appreciated that $100,000 contribution that Piccolila made to her daycare center. <laughs> well, Lila, I still don't know how you managed to pinch enough pennies together to donate that much. Well, you don't have to concern yourself with that, do you? Well, Lila, didn't you say that Miss Stansbury helped you? Uh, what'd you say about Cheryl Stansbury? Well, um, she was sweet enough to give us some advice as to how to protect our, our profits. Oh, meager as they are, huh? Well, advice, that's about all you're going to get from her, and you can be grateful for that. She usually won't even talk to you unless you got a million dollars to invest. She was probably nice to you because of me, dear. Oh, I'm sure you're right, dear. My gosh, a million dollars. I've never even seen a million of anything. Maybe except stars. You know, when I was a little bitty and growing up, well, even when I was married. Yeah, after I was married and had Colton and was raising Lucy, we never had anything to really speak about, but we always managed to make life enjoyable, and I sort of made things, even the simple things, kind of interesting, you know? Mm -hmm. And we... Well, they might have been rinky-dinky and made by hand, but we enjoyed them. No, yeah. mm. nothing's enjoyable without money. Oh, well, now... Without I... money, it's all nonsense. Well, now, Mr. Quartermain, I'd hate to disagree well, with you. Well, don't, then. Well, sir, I just don't hold with what you're saying. So do you work? Oh, no. I live on my Social Security and a pension my husband left me. He had his own company, you know. He did. Made fly swatters. Very good ones. I'm sure they were. If you hit a fly with one of Fred's fly swatters, it stayed hit. <laughs> well, I'm sure it did. So are you interested in the apartment? 
Well, I think so. But I want to talk to my family before I made a decision. Your family? Yes. Fritz, Harold, Dagmar, Daisy, Daphne, and Mumblety Peg. Mumblety Peg? That's a game that kids play with pocket knives. Oh, no. Mumblety Peg's my great dame. I've got him and two parakeets and three Siamese cats. They're my family. Oh. Fritz, Harold, Dad. Would you like to meet them? Actually, I did promise two other people that I would show them the apartment. Mm. So why don't you go home and you talk it over with your family and then give me a call later. Oh, yes, I'll do that. Oh, hello, dear. My, my. Aren't you pretty? Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Super. Three cats. And a great name. <laughs> Fritz, Harold, Dagmar, Daisy, Daphne, and Mumbly Peg. <laughs> <laughs>